What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of our Lies of P playthrough here on the channel. Uh, if you've missed the last few episodes, make sure you go check it out. We've had a, a lot of fun so far in this game. I think it's a really cool Souls-like adaptation of the Pinocchio world and we are progressing nicely. Uh, if you missed last episode, spoiler alert, but we did complete uh, the St. Frangelico Cathedral Chapel and now we've moved on to the Cathedral Library. So following what looks like another boss fight coming up, it was, you know, deep deep inside the cathedral we saw this big bug like thing go deep into uh into the underbelly of this giant building and now we have followed it and we are uh looking to uh most likely get into a boss fight in this video so stay tuned it should be a good one uh and yeah let's just dive in and see what today's video holds i mean again the visuals of this game are absolutely sensational they look ridiculous for such a small company and like the size of this game is just in incredible how well it performs. Hey. I'm surprised to see who's well alive. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Cecile, and I serve the Archbishop. I'm the only one left. Everyone's dead. From the petrification disease or from the monsters. I didn't die, but my heart breaks more each day. Can you do me a kindness? Bring me the holy mark from the Archbishop's quarters. The Archbishop was a true saint. He was my savior. If I write his words into my heart, maybe it'll give me the strength to carry on. I can't die. But perhaps this can help me live again. Please. Bring me the holy mark as quickly as you can. Yes, ma'am. So <clears throat> probably a little side mission there. Uh, I'm going to guess that the boss is the arch. Like that, that it, the monster thing we saw was probably the archbishop. If I had to guess, just based on where we are, based on all the story leading up to this. This looks like we can't walk through that just yet. Change my outfit back to the original or the first outfit we fought. First outfit we saw, which was the uh, more of the Pino true Pinocchio look, was using the white rags for a long time. Felt we needed a little bit of a change up going into this next part. The hell is that thing? Hi. Okay, so that drops a goo everywhere. Those bursts. Oh, there's a chick throwing stuff up there. Hi, Mirror. Dude, this flamethrower is so much fun to use. So we could drop down there. I don't know if I... Oh, this... I want to figure out how to kill this chick before I try and open the... Uh... Before I open that shortcut, because I don't want to get blasted. Is this... Are these things? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I love this flamethrower arm. It's so cool. All right, sweet. <clears throat> so we did that. Doesn't look like there's too much more this way. Let's not get hit by the goo. This goes to a different area. So let's quickly just drop down. Got this shortcut open. I believe this is the, this might be from the other side actually. It is from the other side. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Apologies if I sound a little nasally today. I, man, it's in Canada where I live. It's getting closer, obviously, to fall time. And the weather is... Every day is different. Yesterday was cloudy and a little bit colder. Today is warmer and sunny. When that happens, my allergies tend to go crazy. 
love the organ music in this place. Cool. This is this is why the cathedral is built and remember, pilgrims worship the merciful angel. Whoa. Okay, so we got all this. Oh hey. Oh, it's not that far. Oh boy. So we got more of this stuff here, which we can enter, but it will damage us. There's got to be something that maybe turns it all off. It looks like I have to go through it. All right. Uh, we should have something that might help us with resistance against this. Increases resistance against decay. Perfect. Here's somebody up top. Oh my gosh. That scared me. Oh god. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh my gosh, I forgot how hard this guy hit. Flamethrower is the best thing you could use against these uh, decay guys. This is incredible how strong this feels. Especially this guy who kind of just stands in one spot and like swings his arms over and over again. The flamethrower like, yeah, I'm almost out of it. Where does this go? This is where we want to go. I don't know which way is the right way. Can I even get up here? Probably not. All right. looks like this might lead us up. Oh, there's a staircase here. Uh, let's just see where this goes. Can always come back down if we need to. <clears throat> okay, this is a lot higher up. I can't find the way out. Monsters everywhere. I need to grab my share and leave. Who the heck is this guy? Are you friend? I can't target you. Whoa. Look at that. I gotta tell you, this game is actually visually sensational. It, it really is a awesome looking video game. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's odd. I thought I was the only one with a sound mind here. Sure, I don't need to introduce myself. Note these golden wings. Yes, you guessed it. You don't know who I am. <laughs> Preposterous. Everyone in Kratz has heard of me. Do you live under a rock? I'm Alidoro the Hound. <clears throat> Treasure hunter extraordinaire. Yes, yes, it's a nickname. I ditched my real name in the past. I'm looking for other survivors of this disaster, but it's uh, been a lonely search and... There's danger around every corner. Do you know of a place where I can take refuge? Preferably someplace clean and comfortable, you know, civilized. Uh, you could come back to me. <coughs> Hotel Krat, of course, a haven for all. And it's still safe and sound, you say? I have a lot of searching ahead of me, so why don't I lighten my load? Consider this an act of charity. A thank you gift, take it. Ooh, what'd I get? Fire abrasive? Okay. That's it? A fire abrasive? Thank you, I guess. Are you talkable? Since you're so helpful, I'll give you a peek at my... Ooh. Rare ergo. Kill strong enemies to gain rate. Yeah, we already know that. Whoa. Okay, so I also figured out before we dive in here, because last time I was stupid and didn't know what all these mean, 
So basically, vitality's health, figure, stamina, capacities, weight, etc. Uh, we are slightly heavy, but as long as you're within 60 to 70, I believe you'll not be a fat roller. Uh, motivity is actually strength based, so any we larger weapons. Technique is more smaller weapons. And advance is. Uh, shit, I can't remember what advance is, but if you go here, it'll say like what type of weapon it is. Obviously, like we know that. So, like this one will. Uh, actually, the sword we're using, the sword we have built, will scale better with advance and technique than it does with motivity, whereas this one scales better with motivity than it does technique. So I've been putting points into both, sort of. So and it adds, I didn't know if that was a smart thing to do. It probably isn't the smartest thing to do, but uh, it definitely will help now that I have two separate weapons that we're trying to scale with. Um... So you have some amulets here. Upon a successful perfect guard, temporarily increased damage inflicted by... That's a really good... How much is that? Does it say how much all this stuff is? King King's Flame Ergo. So I don't have King's Flame Ergos. Broken p p Parade Leader's Ergo. Dang it! So all the Ergo that I was spending earlier? Oh, no way. I spent all that stuff because I'm stupid. Damn, I can't get a I can't get a cool new weapon. But how do you how do you get these back? You might not be able to. Either way, might get some for killing future bosses. But good to know we have a a new vendor that sells some pretty cool weapons. We'll look to uh, we'll look to save the things we get from bosses now. Give them to him for some good weapons. That sucks. I didn't. I didn't know that you could trade any of that stuff in. I thought it was just giving you like a five thousand boost of ergo to use. Well, you, you live and you learn. Sorry, no big deal to be honest. All right, we got to figure out how to get through here. So the staircase was on the left. Oh my gosh, I knew there would be a guy I looked the wrong way. Jesus. Vivid Ergo. Gosh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, there's something right there. I will right, we'll have to go down and around, that's fine. Gemini's emergency protection. Gemini's, not Gemini. All right, let's uh, just quickly see what's on this side. Is there anything? This place looks awesome. I'm a big fan of this. Archbishop's Diary. Uh, so he's talking about that girl we found. God will be glad with the atone. Perhaps I should ask for atonement from visiting the alchemists. So I, I gotta think that guy we saw is the boss. Oh, jeez. Dang it. Archbishop's Holy Mark? What is that thing? Where is it? Ring at the end. Recollections, a Holy Mark obtained from the Archbishop's room it is Archbishop item that's... Oh, it's a, a... Duh, it's the quest item. All right, so we have the quest room now. Workshop union strength and frame. That's something we should be able to equip. This is pretty big bump to weight, but it increases our damage reduction by a boatload. So that does push us up over to 70. However... I don't feel any slower. So we're, because I put points into um, capacity, it still says we're slightly heavy. Perfect, 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 perfect. That's a huge, huge boost to reduction. That's what we love to see. All right, question remains. Where doth we go? 
Okay, so we got everything in here, I believe. Perfect. Could drop down here. Is that where we need to drop down to? Have I gone in here? No, I haven't gotten in here yet. Special resistance ampule. 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 Oh, this looks like we can push this. Yep. All right, six. So this should clear the bottom floor of the... Yeah, let's go. Okay, this is back this way. So that is... We could drop down here and just hand in to... Cecil or Cecil, whatever her name was. Problem is, I think we need to be on this side. But I think that's okay, because this will lead us. Let me just see here quickly. Oh, there's a shortcut? Is this a shortcut that we can open? Well, we opened it. Yeah, perfect. Haha. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, cool. So let's hand this into our girl. Oh, thank you. Just seeing the Archbishop's holy mark renews my spirit. It's a reminder of the quiet <clears throat> power of faith. I'll remember this forever, Stalker. Stalker. Attribute resistance ample. Ample. Uh, I probably should use this because I don't know if we'll see one again. We do have the shortcut now. The other side's open. The only thing we forgot was there was that one blue thing over there, which is probably just some more ergo. Ah, crap. The boss is right now. Oh, shoot. Sing praise for new saint has arrived. I say Andreas will consecrate the land. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We have made it to another boss battle. This could be another jump cut here in just a moment, but we are going to give it everything we got. We do have a few of these left, so we might as well use them. And by a few, I mean, we got 18 left. Let's just see what, uh, let's just see what shenanigans we can get up to with this. I have no idea what to expect with this guy. I knew it. So creepy. is this guy he's like upside down okay this guy is creepy Okay.
greedy. I got greedy and tried staggering him. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to guess this is a multi-stage boss because that guy was taking way more damage than anybody else I've fought in. So I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna like, somebody's gonna pop out of him or something. Did I miss the window? There's 100% a second phase. What's inside of him? That looks like it's like a belly. Yup. Oh, God. Oh. Hello, Archbishop, I'm assuming. Oh, you don't really have a face anymore. What the f ah, hi, hi. Oh, good God. Okay, yep. Okay, yep. Okay, yep. I can't even see him. Okay, so he still does that attack. He's a lot harder than his first. I, I can't see him. He's so large that the camera keeps shifting. Oh, this reminds me of the big worm in uh, Elden Ring where he's so large. It's it's hard. Excuse me. It's hard to see when he like rotates. I also want to put on uh, this to have another source of flame after. And I also want to put on more fable charges just to potentially potentially have that extra added advantage later on in the fight.
Why is this not hitting him? Holy jumpins. Fire was his worst enemy. That by far was the easiest method. So these are all the first bosses that I've killed. They're like spirits or something or being cleansed, I guess. Whoa. And now the stage is set. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? So, not cleansed, as a matter of fact, probably the opposite of cleansed. Eliminated. Hell yeah. I want to go back to the old crot. The old me. Before the green overtook me. That was a pretty cool fight. The first stage for a couple of tries just took a while to just get his timing right. But once you had it, it was pretty easy to advance past that. But very thankful that I had my flame arm available for this fight because my oh my, that is, he is very, very weak against fire. And that is just exactly what we needed was just to, to pump a bunch of damage into him, save the, the thermites for later in the fight once he got to phase two. Spectre was just a distraction noodle at that point so I could wail on the other half because his tentacle part was was kind of crazy but we did send the one dude back here and I'm wondering if the boss stuff that we just got where would he be that's the question there he is People you have anything have no idea. thanks for keeping me company no. all right I'm wondering if that boss we can turn in for a cool weapon oh it's you so, this hotel is indeed a refuge from the dangers of the outside world. I am the Hound, a descendant of the city's most aristocratic families. Repaying debts is what we nobles do. Anyone with a worthy spirit is especially welcome. Accordingly, I shall give you the honor of laying eyes upon my treasure. However, you must prove your worthiness. For this legendary treasure... Mm, the ergo of a powerful enemy shall suffice. It's up to you if you want to make the exchange. Take your time to admire it. I've certainly done likewise. Okay, so should be able to switch that in for something here. Uh, so we can get this Trident of the Covenant. 
or Nameless One's amulet has a chance of being consumed when using pulse cells. I kind of just want to get the weapon, to be honest with you. Let's do it. Screw it. I've already used too many of the boss's stuff before. I don't really want to make that mistake again. All right, let's uh, let's see what we just equipped there. So clearly a very big critical rate weapon. Uh, Fable charge. Damage reduction while guarding is huge. And it does a decent amount for being... It's, it's a strength base for sure. Did not mean to use that, but that's okay. Now we should have some upgrade cells. Let's see if we can create a you pretty crazy wow. little. I didn't know he was still alive. I haven't seen him in person, and I don't know how I'd react. How do you thank the man who saved your life? Oh. I'm so glad that someone so kind has reached safety. And speaking of safety, please take care of yourself out there. You're not the only one who's my looks give it away. But I, my family was but that I right. suppose. Let's uh let's see if we can assemble a cool weapon using this. Okay, so right off the rip, you can't disassemble this weapon. Good to know. But you can upgrade it, so we should be able to pump some some upgrades. Oh, okay, so it already is just really good by default. 165. Gotcha. So we need Dark Moon Moonstone of the Covenant in order to upgrade it further. Gotcha. Okay, does anybody else have anything to say after we beat that boss? Anini, even priceless thing. Nope. So you don't have anything. What about you, I've sir? I've been investigating the puppet frenzy. And no, I've already, I've already, I've already, already heard that before. But he did just give me something. I've already heard that dialogue. I'm wondering why. An ergo wavelength decoder left by Vignini. The device finds errors in the Grand Covenant imprinted on puppets. Decided to analyze the puppet's ergo wavelengths to determine. You should be able to collect quite a number of records while gathering, getting rid of puppets. Oh, okay, so it's just I a... Always well. All right, good to know, good to know. Anything else for arms that we got? Uh, Doesn't look like we have any Legion plugs. What about modifying our existing ones? Nope. Okay, cool. So, got a new weapon, completed another boss. I do have some ergo, but it's not going to be a lot to upgrade. So, I think for now, we'll hang on to that and we'll go back to... So, there's something we got to do in the cathedral. There's still something I have to do in the cathedral? What would that be? Not quite sure why it says I have something here. Unless it's just a record. Look at this weapon, the trident, baby. Is it just this? There we go. Cecilia's written confession. Thank you for the kindness. I'm a sinner who murdered innocent people in the past. I couldn't suppress the monster in me. Only the archbishop saved me. Of course he was human who makes mistakes. Even saints have come to the wealth and power, but at least I can live as myself at that huge blessing. And that's a huge blessing. So yes, I believe that he was a saint. Now you've opened the second path. Thank you for letting me live as a human, not a monster. Farewell, Cecile. And then we got a divine service record that we can play. All right, this thing th seems nasty. All right, so that was... Probably about 20 attempts to kill that guy. It's a little bit more than maybe we would have liked, but at the same time, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I did have to go and stop in between and farm some thermites because once I realized, once I realized he was very weak to fire and that was going to be the key to winning this fight, uh, I had to go and grab some. So we're able to complete him. I'm happy about that. And let's just see what else is in this cathedral. And it looks like we've completed whatever the first quote unquote chapter of this game is. Obviously we're on like act five or whatever. But whatever those three bosses were, they're like spirit left and some guy somewhere used that to power whatever machine that was on the top of a tower. So definitely some cool things coming out of that. Looks like we might be leaving. All right, that was sick. That was so cool. Got to remember not to use boss things. Like boss ergo. 
All right, Path of the Pilgrim, Foggy Night. So we are outside the massive cathedral. What in the hell is that thing? Just burn it with fire. It's a dog. Oh my God, that's, I didn't even see it. That scared the crap out of me. Fire is so good in this area, man. Holy. This is creepy. This reminds Once, me of like Resident Rob Evil. Was just a small town on the coast of little importance. Before Elysian Boulevard was built, this place literally was all there was of Krat. But when some in the city prospered, they, they left the old town behind. Through isolation and neglect, Krat's first incarnation became nothing but dangerous alleys and desperate slums. On the bright side, I guess, the whole city of Krat's pretty much like that now. The old town caught up with the new. It's true what they say. A receding tide sinks all boats. Hmm. Interesting. There was also... I'm actually going to teleport back because there was a spot that I forgot to drop down into that had a shortcut. So we're actually going to... I just remember that seeing that last thing. So we're in... See, we're in Chapter 5, Act 5, whatever this might be. But back in the library, there was actually a spot you could drop into. And I know I've missed a number of weapons and, and upgrade parts and things like that in the past. While it's fresh on my mind, I want to actually go grab it. It was to the left if you go upstairs here. You guys might remember this. to go wait where to go it's red but I don't see it anywhere huh what the heck did it fly upstairs it probably flew upstairs whatever Okay, a legion caliber, perfect. That's what you need to upgrade the arm, I believe. So I'm happy I did that. What does that say? Not sure. You cannot leave this place alive. Yeah, baloney. All right, cool. I, I just remembered that and I was like, I don't want to keep forgetting items because it's very important that you don't in the games like this. All right, so this should take us back up top. And now we can go back down and just teleport to the new area. Sick. Oh. Uh oh. Yep. 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 Ow. 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 All right, let's see what this new adventure brings us. We'll have to figure out how to get in in there. I kind of want to try out the new weapon as well. This fire is so good against these guys that it's really hard for me to use anything besides fire damage. Okay, so the, the dog shoots really cool like almost like a quill bore or a porcupine that's neat I like that this looks like a dead end but it has some stuff here oh it's not a dead end I lied all right this thing hits like a truck so which is the way to go? I feel like that might be the way to go. So let's quickly have a peek back down here. I need to start paying attention to where I'm walking. 
Holy crap. Jeez, this thing hits so hard. We got an acidic crystal spear and blade handle. Oh, 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 acid attack. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll customize it at the next um, Stargazer. I don't really want to keep spawning these guys. Something up here. The only thing is that I'm good. Oh, it doesn't look like, it looks like they can take acid damage. So this is just like another version of this weapon is what this seems like. Just acid damage instead of fire damage. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I fell. Oh, I fell right into a dog. Oh no. I guess we're going back after all. God dang undead demon grizzly bear. What the heck? Holy crap, that thing's huge. All right, well. Let's try and fight this big ass bear again. <laughs> oh, you're already right here. Why is my lock button not working? He was cool. It's like a big grizzly bear, undead grizzly bear. It's actually crazy. All right, so we took care of him. I hear it, dude. Hey, bud. Where do we go from here? This is creepy. Like, this definitely reminds me of, like, Resident Evil. Who knew Pinocchio was so creepy? Not again? Really? Heard the tinkle. Where is it? There it is. Where does it go? I'm so lost. Like, there it is. Of course it disappears. Well, shoot. I don't remember them disappearing before, but maybe I had like constant pressure on them. Tomb slums entrance. Cool. Oh boy. Hey guys. You're gonna throw things at me from up there, aren't you? Come on. 
Oh my gosh, what the hell do you have in your hand? You're gonna throw things. I know you are. Question is. Oh. I have no idea where my timing on my perfect blocks is right now, but I am really bad at perfect parrying at the moment. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I hit one. It's kind of embarrassing, but this is nuts. Where are we? I don't think this weapon is all that great with the hilts that I have on it. I thought like I could make like a really cool, like my sword is my most upgraded blade. So I thought maybe, hey, like I could put a really cool combo on it to make it like a good distance weapon, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. It definitely lost a little bit of its damage. So I think I'm gonna put it back on the hilt that it was on. I mean, it, it does do a decent amount to these guys. Wanted Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Okay. I feel like I'm missing so much in this town. There's so much to, to go off of here. That's another big dude, isn't it? I don't think it is. That is not. That's just a normal guy. All right, what do I, uh, do I want to drop down first? Because I feel like, is there even a way up? Oh, th there is a way around. Okay, let's check out up here first. Hey guys. The range is really nice. I'm wondering if I put the flame dagger on this hilt and then go back to the normal sword that I had or maybe try like a combo of those swords so let's say the there's even treasure be found in a collapsing shack found out what happened to the greedy couple Ooh, a fire abrasive that's good not really a shortcut this is just getting me out of here okay what do we got here i don't really know where this leads me hmm Let's check out down here first. I don't, I, oh wait. Did I not get back to where I was? Well, I can through the ladder. Oh, okay, I can go here. There's gotta be some guys here, right? Oh gosh. Why you gotta scare me like that? Okay, simmer the fuck down. What the hell? What the f I need to use this thing one sec. Oh, I'm dead. is this guy oh i should have i my mistake there was just not charging my cannon like my flame arm all right 
now that we have our weapons sorted out here we can try and kill this guy i think this will be a, probably a pretty good spot once we beat him to wrap up this video i gotta assume there's gonna be another stargazer afterwards uh but i think this was a pretty exciting video we were able to beat the cathedral and um kill off the archbishop uh and then once we beat this guy it should be should be another wait, what was that oh will he actually fall down here he knows i'm here oh he will all right i'm actually gonna try the trident against this guy i'm not sure can i set this on fire oh fuck yeah That was some good damage. Damn, this is a sick weapon. Oh, you're done, Zo, bud. Boom! Try to break through the heart. Oh my. God, what the frig? Okay, this might be my new favorite. Legit might be my new favorite weapon. I might just start going strength build the whole time. That was nuts. All right, sick, let's go. All right, so he gave us this key. What do we get for completing that guy? A Belford Superior Corrosion Resistance Converter. Gosh, these are mouthfuls, but that is probably one of these, which, what do we got on right now? Uh, Workshop Union Standard Corrosion. Standard, so this is a superior one, and the only negative is weight. Now, the problem with that is we will become heavy, but if we bump this down, we'll be slightly, because I don't think having... The spaced arm actually has been any beneficial thing to me. So I think we should be okay here. We'll have to start putting points into capacity so we don't keep running out of things once we get heavy. I don't have to use this trident necessarily, but it's just so good. Such a strong weapon. All right, let's see. Is there going to be a save point? Is that another bear down there? That sounds like another bear, doesn't it? Oh my sweet lord. Gosh, this is so cool. So creepy, the atmosphere. All right, we're getting to another looking little town area. And now it's pouring rain, which adds to the creepiness. Hobbler's Bridge. Is there going to be a guy on here called Hobbler? Please... Please don't make me fight another boss. Doesn't look like it. The only thing is this takes up a lot of my stamina, which isn't the end of the world, but it's definitely, definitely using up quite a bit. Let's grab this, another vivid ergo. This looks like it. Saw blade, man, I haven't had a saw blade in a hot minute. Ooh, the storm is definitely adding to the creepiness. I love it. This looks like a a boss boy. There's really not another stargazer here anywhere, eh? This is pretty non-generous with uh Test one, two, one, two. We have a schedule update for the intruder. It's time tonight. Oh boy. <laughs> this looks like a bear who's just fully gone.
No. What the? <laughs> oh my gosh. That, that fable ability is some Final Fantasy looking crap. Holy, that was amazing. All right, who wants some more, huh? Where are the uh, stargazers, though? This now is actually... Now, here's a safety reminder for all the malcontents of the Marlin district. A nasty puppy has invaded our territory. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he's crazy. I love it. I mean, we could go down. I feel like down is probably where we're needing to go. Let's see what we got in here. So let's not fall off. So we got a specialist resistance ampule, which is always decent to have. Well, we're going down. There's no denying that. Oh, do I have to land on the... Oh, boy. We got it. Sick. We are underneath this little town. Hey, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, that was a... Oh, hey, guys. All right, we'll talk to all these guys next time. That was a super fun episode. Finished off the cathedral. Finished the uh, archbishop, who was a crazy boss fight. Once we got the hang of it, it was uh, it was pretty straightforward, but really, really enjoying this game. I think it's getting better and better the further we go, uh, but that'll be it for this one. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. There's so much content coming out on the channel. Already a lot of content that we've dropped. We finished off Starfield. We're knee deep into Cyberpunk now, and we're, we're, we're chugging along with this one as well. So make sure you guys like, uh, like the video, give the thumbs up, and subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.